when he came back to Sweden and went into business, was Wallenberg a successful business person? No, not at all, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, and uh, according to, to himself, definitely not. He had higher expectations on himself that his grandfather, of course, had uh, nudged. And uh, uh, so he ended up, the, the main uh, reason for, for this uh, lack of success was actually that his grandfather suddenly died in 19... 37. So the, the grandiose introduction into Swedish business life that his grandfather had promised him just didn't happen. The, Raul had to build his own way or find his own way in Swedish business life. And he started the, the one company after the other. He tried to sell products uh, like Japanese zippers and some corks for buttons. Uh, it was not until 1941 that he ended up having his first permanent position in an, uh, uh, you could say a Swedish Hungarian import export firm, uh, which uh, imported mainly uh, groceries from Hungary, like uh, poultry, geese, etc. Uh, and also eggs was, were very uh, rare in Sweden at the time, etc. He also exported horses for a while, actually. But it was, of course, to be an, an, a director at this small Swedish-Hungarian import-export firm was not exactly what his grandfather had had in mind, giving him his education. <laughs> 